our next cool feature, online encryption. And this is a feature which is there also since quite a while. We actually introduced it with 12201. So before 12201, if you wanted to encrypt a table space, you have to take the table space uh, offline and then encrypt it. Since 12201, you can do this online. Very simple as you see on the slides, all the table space, table space name, encryption, online encrypt, and that's it. Only thing you need to be aware of is in the background, we require twice the disk space. So if your table space is like 26 terabytes, you will need another 26 terabytes for the online encryption as well. If you don't have the space available, you can still go with the old technique of the online encryption. You could also now encrypt systems sysaux and undo, even though even our internal experts or people from the MAA team would not recommend you doing this. With 12.2 and 18, we introduced also the ability to encrypt when you restore with Armin and to decrypt, which is in some cases even more important. But officially that feature is only there since 18C because it had got included in the 18C documentation. But I found several blog posts where people tried this out and showed that it works very well in 12.201 as well. Now, when we wanna do this, before you really can encrypt a table space, a few prep steps are necessary. And I will very quickly go through these steps because I rather would like to show you this in a quick demo afterwards. We first need to prepare the wallet root. So a directory where the wallet or the key stores go into. We set the init parameter wallet root and TDE configuration. Then we create the password protected key store, which in the old terminology was called a wallet. So we create that identified by a very secret password here. And then I can check and I see, okay, the wallet is closed, but there is a wallet associated with the database. In this case, it's a multi-tenant database. So you see the con ID one is my root container, con ID two is PDB dollar seed and con ID three is my PDB here. When I check on a file system, I see once I created that key store, I have now the eWallet.p 12th file on disk. Next step is I have a key store. I need to open it. And for opening the key store, I have to specify the password. So open force key store identified by the password for all containers. Now you see a change in the V$ encryption wallet view. You see that it's open, but no master key associated yet. So let's do that. Let's create a master key for the CDP dollar root. So administer key management set key identified by my secret password with backup. And this applies not only to the CDP dollar root, but you see it also in V dollar encryption wallet here. It applies to the PB dollar seed implicitly as well. Still, it does not apply for my PDB. So I need to do the same step here for my PDB. I change into my container PDB one, set the key, and then also here, the VDOL encryption wallet tells me that the status is open here. Now it's a good idea to make this, if possible, if your policies allow that, to make this an auto login key store because otherwise you don't have to specify your password all the time. Administer key management, create auto login key store. And this would be also something we would require you for an upgrade at the moment because otherwise auto upgrade for auto upgrade to be precise, because auto upgrade requires you to have an auto login key store. Um, if you think, oh, this is something I don't want to have, do it for the upgrade, you can revert it later on to the previous behavior. When we check now on disk, you see that we have more files. We have also now a C wallet SSO and for the containers separate uh, e-wallet key stores here. And once all this is done, this was the prep stuff. Now I can encrypt my table space. So here I go into my PDB one. I have my table space test. It was there before. And I simply say all the table space test encryption online encrypt and it's encrypted. But what happens to future table spaces? 
if I create a fresh table space now at this point, it will un be unencrypted. So what I need to do here is I said, all the system set encrypt new table spaces to always. That means all the future table spaces in this database will be encrypted by default. And now I create my table space future here, size 100M auto extend online, and you see it in the DBA table spaces, it will be encrypted right from start. So don't forget this extra step. So this is a really useful feature, online encryption, there since 12.201 and extremely helpful in all the environments. Now, as promised, a quick demo. So we create the directory at first, where our Kia stores go in, open SQL plus, and the first parameter I set is wallet underscore root. This is very important because it makes the handling much easier than in earlier releases. I have to restart my database. I set TDE underscore configuration now pointing to that file. And the next step is creating the password protected key store. So admin is the key management, create key store. Now let us check here with a script. From the VDollar encryption wallet and we see the file we're pointing to. Let's check the file is on disk, all is good. Now I have to open all pluggable databases because I have to open the key store, administer key management set key store open force. And the fourth step is now creating a master key at first in the CDP dollar root. And then I switch to the PDB. So all the sessions at container equals PDB one in my case. And I create the master key in the PDB. Same command here. Going back to the root container, what I want is the key store auto login ideally. Not everybody wants that, but it makes our life here easier. So administer key management, create auto login key store, go back to the PDB. Because what I wanted to show you initially, that was online encryption. And you see no table spaces encrypted at this point. So let's encrypt online the test table space. So it takes, this is really real time here, so I didn't shorten that. Uh, it takes a few seconds, not a big table space. Now let's check afterwards with DBA table spaces. Now you see it's encrypted, all good. But what happens if I create a new table space? And in order to have future table spaces encrypted as well, I said encrypt new table spaces equals always. And once I have this and I create a new table space called here future, you see also the future table space is encrypted.